So you wanna learn how to generate real estate leads without any old school prospecting? Well, I've got a strategy for you that will allow you to attract the type of client you wanna work with. This is part two. If you're new to this channel, I'm Sebastian Malinowski and I help real estate agents grow their business without any old school marketing. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have not watched part one, I'll put the link on the your top right corner. Look for that. If you haven't watched that video, please go back and watch that first. Let's talk about lead generation. I'm gonna do a quick recap of step one where we talk about the avatar. As you can see, the avatar is step one of the foundation phase. This is where you identify who your ideal client is that you wanna serve that fits your passion and lifestyle. In that step, you will also identify your avatar's goals, frustrations, fears, and dreams, and then you have to decide which of their problems you're going to solve. If you don't know that, you can't possibly generate any real estate leads. That's really the first part, and it's the most important part. And I'll tie this whole thing in, I promise. Now let's look at the second step in the foundation phase called the message, or I like to call it the million dollar message. You'll see why very quickly. Now that you've identified who you want to target and what pain you're going to solve, it's time to put all that into one powerful million dollar message. This will take your marketing from blending in to absolutely standing out. And no, your million dollar message isn't, I'm a real estate agent or we've got the number one team in XYZ city. That's what I call vanilla messaging. So what, who cares? It will literally blend in with all the noise already out there. You don't wanna do that, do you? I'm guessing no? Let me paint a picture for you so you understand what the million dollar message is all about. Let's pretend, now this could be you, I don't know who's watching this video, but let's say you have a family of six. You, your partner, and one, two, three, four kids, all right? There's six of you. Here's the situation. Your car broke down. Essentially, you can't use it anymore. It's a throwaway. Now, because there are six of you, you have to have a van. You can't cram all six of you in, into a four or five seater. So what you really want is a shiny new van that can accommodate your family of six. But there's a problem. You see, you may not make enough money to be able to afford the payments. Your credit is not the best, and you know the bank just simply won't finance a new car for you. But you really have to have this new van. What do you do? So one day you find yourself scrolling through Facebook, and look, a car ad comes up. Now, we're gonna call this ad number one. I'll give you two scenarios. So this ad comes up, it's a picture of a car, and the headline reads, do you need a car? Now you're not sure if you wanna click on it. So now you're hesitating, do I click, do I not? And the fact that you're hesitating tells me that, well, that messaging really wasn't for you. Why wasn't it for you? Well, it was bland, it was vanilla, it really didn't hit your pain point. The headline just reads, do you need a car? But that's not what you need, we just discussed this. There, there are six of you, you need a van, a new van. So you're looking at this going, no, I don't need a car, let's just keep scrolling through. So again, you find yourself scrolling through Facebook and ad number two comes up. This ad is a little bit different. There's a picture of a shiny new van and the headline reads, looking for a new van with super low monthly payments no credit check required. We will handle all the financing. Get out of town. I can get a new van and I don't have to worry about my credit history and I've got super low monthly fees and they will handle the financing? Heck yeah, I'm clicking that ad. So my question is, why was the second Facebook ad so much more effective? After all, they're both dealerships, both had the exact same product, both could have done the financing for you, both could have had internal financing where if your credit sucked, it didn't matter, they were gonna loan you the money, but why was the second one much more effective, so much more powerful? 
Well, they had the million dollar message. They spoke directly to their avatar and they hit all the pain points. Not only that, they solved all the pain points. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Can you see why having a million dollar message is so important and critical in generating leads? You've got to solve problems. And saying we've got the number one team or I sell homes, you're not really solving anybody's problems. You're just saying, hey, look at me. And then you just become a so what? You're just another agent with another bad Facebook ad. Listen, if you want to generate leads, quality leads, you have to have a million dollar message. But you can have a million dollar message, which is step two, unless you go through step one, which is who's your avatar? What problems do they have? Is it kind of starting to make sense? Is it sinking in a little bit? Unless you have a very strong, compelling million dollar message, leads, they're just not coming your way. Oh, and by the way, if you want to download the Tribe Agent Roadmap, the link will be in the description below. I have also recorded previous videos that talk about the entire Tribe Agent system and all three phases, the foundation, the authority, and domination. The next video, part three, is going to be the offer. In that video, I'm going to show you what you can actually offer your avatar, the buyer and seller that you want to work with. And please let me know what you thought of this video in the comments section below. Did you learn anything? I would love to know what that is. If you didn't, let me know as well. Good feedback, bad feedback, I will take it all. I've got tough skin. Go ahead, throw your comment down below. I'm Sebastian Malinowski and we'll chat on the next one. Take care.